Previously on Hell's Kitchen, in their final team challenge. I want to see pure artistry. The chefs had to pack a lot of flavor. Let imagination go wild. Oh yeah, perfect. Into a tiny amuse-bouche. Ro hoped to end her bad luck with challenges. What I just had was a mouthful of salt. But failed. Underwhelming, right? While Natasha. It is really delicious. Thank you very much. And Bryant. Creative, original. Impressed. Good job. But it was Sade. Passion fruit and apple cabbage. I don't get it. And her daring combination of flavors. It's absolutely delicious. It's sophisticated, beautiful. That clinched the win for the blue team. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. It, it, it. While the blue team was whisked away to an island paradise, blue team. the red team got a taste of the islands as well. Da, 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 da. During a never-ending coconut punishment, I'm not feeling too good. Oh. Jennifer had a scary allergic reaction and was sent to the hospital. Towards the end of a reasonably good dinner service in the blue kitchen, Santos's scallops brought the house down. I knew it was too good to be true. Santa, wake up! Now! Yes, Chef! In the red kitchen, Sterling struggled all night. Oh, now it's like bullets. Ah. Which not only resulted in Sterling being forced off his station. Can I switch? Man, I'm done, man. But out of Hell's Kitchen as well. You're not ready to be my next head chef. After an emotional goodbye. I love you, Chef Rams. You'll always be 100 to me. Sterling's dream of becoming head chef of Gordon Ramsay Pub and Grill at Caesars Atlantic City came to an end. Both teams nominated Santos. one chef well. for elimination. But Chef Ramsey Give me your jackets. had something else in mind. Black jackets for oh, Tonight, the final six yes. lay it all on the line. <laughs> And now, the continuation of Hell's Kitchen. Well done, and good night. Thank, Thank you, Chef. Thank, Thank you. Good night, Chef. Oh. <laughs> I am in a black jacket. You know how many people want this? Let's get it. This is mine. I earned this black jacket. I am in black. This jacket feels better than any other color jacket. Man, this jacket feels like money. It just feels awesome against my skin. I don't want to take it off. I'm sleeping in this jacket tonight. I'm a part of the Black Jacket Elite Roadside Day. It's been real. Tomorrow I'm kicking your ass. Yeah, come for it, brother. We're going to be going head to head from this point on. And in order to be the best, I have to beat the best. And I'm going to prove that. The six remaining chefs are living the dream of being part of the Black Jacket Club. But an early morning call. It's real brings them back to the reality of the job at hand. Get downstairs and run outside. Run, 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 run. Yes, sir. Where are we going? Run, 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 outside. Outside. I have no idea what's going on. Hustle. Let's go, let's go, let's go. But we need to move our ass. Let's go. For Chef. Whoa. That's where we got to be. This is crazy. Where the f are we going? Seriously, where are we? Oh, man. We pull up in this sketchy ass like parking lot. Not everybody. And I'm really hoping the challenge today is to not get stabbed by a crazy bum. I'm sure you're all wondering why I brought you out here this morning. Well, Los Angeles is very famous for its billboards. Like the one above us right now. <laughs> and in this town, billboards are reserved for the biggest movies, the biggest events, and the biggest stars. This one is empty because it's reserved for one of you. Wow. Today will be your first individual challenge. 
and the winner will be featured as the spokesperson in huge advertisements across the country for Omaha Steaks. Ooh, talk about exposure. Billboard status, baby, billboard status. Okay, here's how the challenge is going to work. Each of you are going to design a stunning steak dish. As your steak is going to be featured in an ad campaign, I'm looking for a steak that not only tastes good, but is visually stunning. You'll all have 45 minutes to cook this amazing steak dish when we get back to Hell's Kitchen. Everybody ready? Yes, yes. Jump in. I am so ready to get back to Hell's Kitchen. Now that this black jacket is on, y'all are on your own, and you're really going to see what I can do. Let's go. Oh, ah. Let's go. Let's go. In their first challenge as black jackets, the chefs will have 45 minutes to create a steak dish that is not only delicious, but visually stunning using boneless strip, filet mignon, ribeye, or rib cover. Man, I can eat a New York strip every single day, so I just grab two strip steaks, I'm set. I'm gonna do the ribeye. Um... I am torn. I want to do a ribeye, I want to do a filet. It's just so hard for me to choose ribeye filet, ribeye filet. I want them both. I'm doing a ribeye and a filet. I'm gonna have a dinner for two. 35 minutes to go. 35 hurt. I like simple flavors, especially with meat. I got some mustard, red onion, salt and pepper, and then that nice charred flavor. Ooh, in the top. I want to do a dry rub. If there are so many spices to choose from, I know for a fact that I want to use cinnamon. Mmm, mmm, yummy. It's my day. Smoke. Sir, I love handling meat. I handle my meat like nobody's business. I'm using everything I can think of to make this pop. Oh, this is fantastic. Ten minutes to go. Presentation and taste. Yes. 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 For a great steak, my secret is high temperature, hard sear, lock in those juices. It doesn't get better than that. Oh, really? Latasha, have you ever cooked a ribeye before? What is this pan-seared brown crap? Last two minutes, guys. Make these steaks look like a work of art. Yes, Chef. chef. Oh, yeah. I love one that 30 seconds to go. Fire, fire. I know, it's me. Five, four, three, two, one, and stop, guys. OK, it's time to see whose dish is worthy of a starring role. Helping me to judge this challenge are two incredible men who know a lot about beef. Please welcome fifth generation owners of Omaha Steaks, President and CEO Bruce Simon and Senior Vice President Todd Simon. Woo. Oh my God, fifth generation. It's absolutely ridiculous. It's like freaking beef just coursing through their blood. That is a lot of pressure. Bruce, Todd and I, I'm going to look at all your dishes, and then we are only going to taste the ones that are visually appealing. It has to be eye-catching. OK, chefs, bring up your dishes, please. Let's go. My presentation is spot on. Rustic, contemporary, sexy. I already have one of the judge's eyes just staring at my butcher's block. Wow. Wow, that's right. Wow, wow, wow. Gentlemen, I mean, this is a tough question, but visually, let's go for our top three that you'd like to taste. Um, this steak that's right in front of me, it's beautiful. It has perfect grill marks. It's beautifully garnished. And next to the sliced filet mignon, this is a really outstanding presentation. Yeah, I agree. I also really enjoyed the strip. This is beautiful. Is there another one that we can get down to the top three? Pick me, pick me, pick me. It looks good. Come on, you gotta pick me. I have to say, I'm a real sucker again for the grill Strip. marks. OK. Rose, Santos's, and Sade's. Those are the top three. Oh, my god, that killed me. I just cooked a steak that was awesome. And you're not even going to taste mine. That's Natasha, Jennifer, and Brian, come pick up your steaks. Thank you. I'm just irritated as all hell. Because I think I would have won it based on flavor alone. Bro, please describe your dish. Um, I did a his and hers plate, a grilled ribeye for the male, petite filet for the lady. I did Swiss chard, and the potatoes on the side are manchego and truffle oil dressed. And the idea of his and hers, where did that come from? Every time I send my parents Omaha steaks, I need to send ribeyes for my dad and filets for my mom, so. Um... <laughs> we love customers like you. <laughs> come on, bro. You don't need to kiss their ass any more than you already are. 
Todd, how was that for you, sir? Describe the flavor. The tenderloin um, is perfect, and the smoky barbecue sauce is really good. The ribeye is perfectly cooked. Found the seasoning a little overpowering, but not very much. Interesting. Bruce, how was that for you? Delicious. They're both cooked perfectly. You can cook at my house anytime. Thank you. Wow. Anytime. Really? Ro? She's already got a attitude, like she thinks she's the hot here. Give me a break. Today, please. What I have for you today is a dry rub New York strip with cinnamon, a little bit of cayenne, Cajun seasoning, some African pepper. What? Crazy cinnamon, African pepper. Where? I've never even heard of that. Bruce, how was today's for you? It was delicious, but the cinnamon isn't something I'm accustomed to, honestly. No. It overpowers the beefy taste. Todd, how was that for you, sir? This steak is perfectly cooked. It's still a contender for me. OK, great. And finally, Santos, please describe your dish. I hickory smoked my steak first, and then I gave it a nice dry rub with mustard, paprika, salt and pepper, a little bit of coriander. How was that for you, Bruce? Fabulous. 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 Cooked perfectly. Uh-huh. Todd. I really enjoyed that. It's a very impressive steak. Three phenomenal attempts. Yes, sir. Gentlemen, have a discussion between you. Oh, I agree. I agree. I agree. Please, I can see myself on that billboard. Wouldn't you buy a steak from this face? As a marketing campaign. Absolutely. Yeah. I am going to win this challenge. Come on, guys. Just, you know it's me. You know it. Go ahead and say it. I'm all over it. <laughs> come on. Come on, judges. My dish is the best dish up here. Yeah. Yep. Very. Uh, this is tough. It's so close. There is one that stands out. The winner of this challenge is... In the first individual challenge, each chef had to create a unique steak dish to be judged first on appearance... I'm a real sucker again for the grill marks. ...and then on taste. Fabulous. The final three dishes are from Ro, Santos, and Sade. This is tough. The stakes are high, as the winner will be featured in a nationwide ad campaign. The winner of this challenge is... Ro. Yes. Great job. Thank you, gentlemen. Thank you. Thank you very much. Great Seriously love your steaks. Oh, I can't even talk. It's so exciting. Finally, a challenge win, and it's a big one. Suck it. I'd like you to join me in thanking Bruce and Todd. This is going to be an exciting campaign. Thank you, guys. Thank you so much. Thanks. Take care. Thanks. Bro, you're in for a stunning day. You and your steak dish will be the stars of a unique photo shoot. <laughs> awesome, Jeff. Also today, you're going on a $1,000 shopping spree at one of LA's finest kitchen supply store, Surfers. Yes. Thank you, Chef. There is another surprise, but I'm not going to tell you. Damn. But I can guarantee you, you're going to get a kick out of it. All right. Big time. Thank you, Chef. I have no idea what it could be. Chef has so many aces up his sleeves that whatever it is, I'm sure it's going to be wonderful. Head upstairs. Your sous chef will call you when your stylist has arrived. Good awesome. job. Thank well you, done. Chef. I love black. Oh, my God. Bro, I don't want to see your face on billboards. I want to be done seeing grill permanently. Uh, Black Jackets, this may have been your first individual challenge, but today you'll all be going through a brutal punishment together. In a short while, we have a huge side of beef arriving. Each section weighs around 200 pounds. What the f It's pretty damn heavy. I don't want anything wasted, so break it down, portion it. There is a lot of work to be done. Off you go. Head down. I should have won this competition hands down. How did she win with his and hers? I mean, this isn't Valentine's Day. Just start cleaning the red side first, guys. And then when I approve it, then we'll go to the other side. Yes, yes chef. So you'll get hair and makeup, you'll be pampered. And then. Hey, guys. Have fun. Congratulations, Ro. Damn, I wish that was me. Hair and makeup. Oh, she needs it. Hello, hello. Ro. How's it going? Good Have fun, Ro. Oh, thanks, Chef. I am fantastic. Pamper away. They're doing hair and makeup right there in the dining room. Rub it in, why don't you? Rub it in. I think you look really gorgeous. It feels amazing to look like a girl again without anyone trying to beat me, <laughs> disparage me. Perfect, Ro. 
Nice. While Roe is basking in the limelight, the rest of the chefs are in for some heavy lifting. Holy cow. Humongous. Get up in there and get it. Let's go, guys. Oh, f This is going to be heavy. How many black jackets does it take? Uh, are you kidding me? This looks like a Fred Flintstone brontosaurus right here. Holy First day in my black Ready? jacket. Oh. Bye, guys. Have a nice day. You. Wow. You got that by yourself? Yep. Yeah. Let's do some shopping. Hello? This is the place. So, uh, Chef's Toy Store. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. They have everything you could ever want in this store as a chef. So much. They have spices, vinegars, oil, pots, pans, knives, gadgets, out the this place. I mean, there's nothing you could want that isn't in this store. Ah. Thank you, Surface. Thank you, Chef Ramsay. While Ro wraps up her shopping spree, the rest of the chefs Bring on the beef. are just beginning a chopping spree. <sighs> oh, man. cow that never ends. Delivering the thing. <sighs> I have the ass end of the cow leg, and right now, all I'm trying to do is just breaking off the flank steak. For some reason, you seem to be enjoying it. <laughs> For me, what's the point of me getting in and getting crazy with beef here? I'll just prep. I thought that tuna was big. What is Brian doing? I don't know. When I approve it, then we'll go to the other side, okay? Okay, yeah, I'm just moving everything over here, Chef. You don't need to go over there. Get those hands dirty. It's time to butcher some beef, bitch. Welcome to the Stone Age, baby. Ciao, Rao. Buongiorno. How are you? How are you? Good see to you. see you. Good to see you. As you know, Chef Gordon prepared a surprise for you. I know. What is the surprise? Come on, Marino. Spill the beans. What's my surprise? Turn it down. Look up. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> Roe was the big winner in today's steak challenge. And after a photo shoot and a day of shopping, Chef Ramsay has one last surprise. Turn it down. Look up. Look at that. Oh! <laughs> Best steak winner. Congratulations. Oh my God. Congratulations. Wow. You did it. You did that you is won. amazing. As big as day, me in lights, it's amazing. Like, people are going to see that. Lots of people are going to see my billboard. It's only up from here, Marino. It's, it's only, only up. up from the here. only way up. All right. Say hi to Rob. Uh, Bye, Rob. Goodbye, Rob. <laughs> <laughs> that is awesome. It's fantastic. Hello, guys. Oh, what a day. Damn. There was a billboard. Let me see. Hey guys, look at this picture. That's yeah. cute. Big ass billboard. <laughs> you and your picture. After a punishing day, the chefs are less than enthusiastic about Roe's newfound fame. Marketing bitch. But they're glad to have an extra pair of hands in the kitchen. Let's do this first. <laughs> Hell's Kitchen is special tonight for me because my dish is on the menu. It represents me. So hopefully everyone will get it and we can put it out looking great. For the ribeye, literally just... Guys, do you want to know how to do this? Everyone paying attention? Come on, bro. Liquid smoke, a little bit of cayenne, just a little light kiss on it. Smoochie. The filet you're definitely going to want to put to rest first. Is that what you guys rest on? That? Yeah. OK. I thought we have resting rice. Hmm? Yeah, so that's the welly resting. Oh, that's from the Wellington. Ah. Uh, this is a cocky bitch, man. That just tells you a lot about Rome, that she doesn't know what the f she's doing still. Oh, yes. Good call, Brian. Let's go, guys. Yes, Chef. Line up. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Tonight is your first service in the Black Jackets. It is a humongous service, because you'll be working as one dynamic team in one kitchen. However, there will be another team of chefs in the red kitchen. Uh, what? Are you kidding me? Would you like to meet your competition? Yes, yes, Chef! You'll be going up against some of the finest chefs I've ever known. Our 
first chef now serves overseeing all the US operations for the Gordon Ramsay Group. Please welcome Chef Andy Van Willigan. <laughs> now, the next chef worked under phenomenal chefs like David Burke, Michael Mina, and Michelin star chef Anthony Amoroso. Please welcome Chef James Avery. Okay. Our next chef is collected in excess of 15 Michelin stars. Oh my god, 15 Michelin stars. Who could it be? Please welcome Chef. Chef, it's me. Oh, I knew it. Oh, <laughs> this is gonna be tough. For starters, they're better chefs than all of us combined. Secondly, this is Chef Gordon Ramsay. I am petrified. It is the first time we have ever done this, and Andy James and I are so excited. Challenge, bring it on. We're ready. Good. Get on your stations. Get organized because we are opening. Let's go. Got it. Let's, Chef. Chef. Let's go. All right, team. Mourinho, open Hell's Kitchen for this extraordinary night, please. Let's go. go. Chef, swim it off. Let's go, guys. Oh, thank you. Tonight, for the first time in Hell's Kitchen history, Stay nice and vocal, yeah? Give yeah. the times, yeah? The team of go. Chef Ramsay, Chef Andy, and Chef James Good luck, girl. will face off against the final six chefs. I mean, they're great, but we cannot let them beat us. Let's we go. have to do this. Go go on. One, two, three, let's! With their work clearly cut out for them, the Black Jackets are taking their best shot at success by picking their own stations with Jennifer plating, Roe on meat, Sade on garnish, Latasha on fish, Bryant on appetizers, and Santos floating between stations, helping where needed. Let's do this. Here we go. Guys, black jackets, yes, you've earned them. Now prove you've got the right to wear them. On order, four covers, table 12, two scallops, two risotto. Yes, chef, seven minutes. Hey! Being on hot apps, I want to shine business all day, every day. Jen, I'm going to walk with scallop garnish right Scallops now. Curd. Scallops with two lobster tails, please. Scallops walking. Coming over. Two scallops. Walkie, here you go. Stop. The lobster's raw. Who cooked this lobster? Look, it's translucent. It's raw. Come on, get it back in there, please. Got another one? Ready, chef. Get those two. I can't do this. This is not the night for me to let fish take me down. How are those lobsters? Lobster's coming in 30 seconds. Guys, it's the first table. Go, go, go. Walk it, walk it. Come on, guys. Go. Chef. Service, please. Let's go. With Latasha quickly correcting her error on the lobster, the Black Jackets send out their first appetizers to their eager diners. You need to taste this. It's delicious. While over in the red kitchen. Delicious risotto, Andy. Thank you, Chef. You know where you're going, yeah? Off you go. The dream team, not surprisingly, are fast and efficient, sending a steady stream of appetizers to their diners. Two scallops, two risotto, two Caesar, yes? Yes, chef. Go ahead and go on scallops. Two scallops going in the pan. Scallops are working. How long, Andy, please? Um, one minute, time up to the pass. OK, good. We're banging out all of our appetizers. Seasoning the second set of scallops. OK, yeah, I'll do that second set. You got it. It's fun. I mean, it's fun to finally be on the other side of it and show these guys and girls how it gets done. We have this in the bag. Are these the scallops going now? Yes, chef. Let's go. Behind chef, my hand. Two salads in my hand. Yep. Plate the two scallops, please, James. Yes, chef. I'll the orders. Nice. Get away. Let's go. Come back for the lobster risotto, please. You know where we're going, yes? Enjoy. Can you try it? This is really good. Meanwhile, back in the blue kitchen. Stand by, six top, six scallops, table 20. Two Caesar, two risotto, two scallops. Let's go. Her. Get this big pump in. Bryant on appetizers is pushing his team to pick up the pace. Six minutes, risotto, six minutes. Latasha should have nailed the <laughs> the first time. How you looking, Latasha? I'm three out on two scallops. Drop those lobster tails. I'm not going to let that happen again. It's time to run the 
So you got more tails down, right? Give me one minute, two tails. You got it. I'll walk with you, okay? Go, let's go. Santos, I'm less than a minute. Walk those two Caesars. Walking, two Caesars. Two lobster? Here. Two lobster. They're ready. I got two risottos coming? Two risotto here. I'm walking two scallops. Yes. Coming let's over. go. Check everything. Let's go. Yes, chef. Oh, they're overcooked. Touch that. How rubbery they are. Get rid of them. I need two scallops all day right now, Tosh. These are so good. Heard. Really? This is a rookie mistake. Scallops are the easiest thing to cook across the board. Come on. Hey, guys. Hey, 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 come here. Blackjack as you may be, black inside the salad. Who seasoned that? I did, Chef. What is all that? Black pepper, Chef. I'm less seasoning. Heard. Santos, what the is this? What, what, what are we doing? We are making such basic mistakes. Chef Ramsay is just pissed off because of the bad scallops, and now I'm getting yelled at for too much pepper. What the? Santos, you're supposed to be helping, not hurting. Look, nothing's coming out. It's just over 40 minutes into dinner service, and the team of Chef Andy, Chef James, and Chef Ramsay service, please. have sent appetizers to nearly all of their diners. That looks great. While many of the diners on the blue side... We haven't eaten anything yet. Wait, as the chefs in the black jackets... Hey, 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 come here. ...are at a standstill because of Latasha's overcooked scallops... Who seasoned that? ...and Santos's over-seasoned Caesar. We are making such basic mistakes. And look... Nothing's coming out! I need two new Caesars on the fly. Santos, you're just looking like an idiot right now. I have tables in the blue waiting 20 minutes for apps. They are a little annoyed. Hey, 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 guys, come here, all of you. Hurry up! I've got two complaints from customers waiting too long for appetizers, so get organized. Yes, Chef. I'm one minute out on two scallops. Jennifer. Yes, Chef. Get it sorted out. Yes, Chef. It's do or die. Like, if I f up the pass, this could definitely send me hacking. Two scallops, two Caesar scallops right now. Walking, two Caesars. Two scallops. Jen, so two Caesars. Two one Caesar. Service. Keep it up, guys. We're doing great. The Black Jackets have recovered from their misstep on appetizers. Black Jacket team, let's go. Two risotto, one capellini, one Caesar. Yes, Chef. But over in the Red Kitchen. Two chicken, two Wellington, followed by two more chicken, two Wellington, followed by one salmon, three Wellington. Yes, Chef. The Dream Machine has already moved on to entrees. Two chicken, two Wellington, two chicken, two Wellington, one salmon, three Wellington. Heard. I got this. Wellington to nail. We good? Money. This is how I like to work. Fast and furious. Coming on five Wellington. Yeah. Two chicken, one salmon. Jimmy, chicken coming, yes? Yes, in my hand. Yeah, well, I don't want it in your hand. I want it here. Damn, Chef Ramsay's on James tonight. Chicken, please, Jimmy. Glad it's not me. Chicken slice at an angle, please, James. Chicken break his heart, Chef. Woo. Jimmy, chicken, please. Yeah, we're coming in the whole box. Put it down, it's fine. I got it. Let's go. And we're waiting on one salmon. While Chef Andy helps to plate. And one salmon, yes? Yes, one salmon. One guy doing it all. Chef Jimmy is trying to complete some of the entrees. 51, I go. Back in the blue kitchen. Hey, guys. Yes. If we speed up, you can do this, yes? Yes, yes chef. chef. Brian, we'll do two twos at the same time. Yes, Chef. Two risotto, one capellini, one Caesar. Yes? Yes, Chef. Chef Ramsay is pushing hard to get through appetizers. Caesar yes, salad, chef. right now. Come on, let's go. Thank you. We really need to get it together. Drive my team. That's all I can do right now. How long on two risotto, one cap? How long do you have? I'm ready. I'm ready. Coming over. To your right. Service, please. 41. Let's go. Two risottos. Lobster, Todd. Walking. Caesar's in the window right now. Service, please. That's it for appetizers. Let's go. On all of you, halibut to chicken. VIP, Steve Blake. Yes, sir. Meat station is my baby tonight, so that just puts a little more pressure on me because meat is just going to have to go really fast. Bro's about to get heavy. I have her garnish, bro. Talk to me. I got you. The black team seriously need to step it up right now. Come on, guys. Let's keep pushing. We're going to get it together from this point on. Two halibut, two chicken. Slicing chicken. All right, I'm walking two halibut, bro. Chicken garnish. Two chicken garnish is in my hand. Two Where chicken is walking chicken? right now. Chicken walking. Two chicken walking. Right, right here in my hand. Here we are. Two halibut, chef. Glazed. Natasha. Yes, Chef. Beautiful, yes? Yes, Chef. 
Yes, yes, yeah, it is. Yeah, keep it glazed. Thank you. Service, please pick up table 11. Let's go. Come on, we got this, guys. Woo. Guys, we've got a great momentum. Hold on to it, yes? Yes, yes. yes. Let's go. With Roe delivering on the meat and Latasha bouncing back to deliver perfect fish, the Black Jackets have made up for some lost ground. You like the flavor? It's really good. Meanwhile, over in the red kitchen. James, you got the queen comes to dinner. Got it right now, chef. Doing? Even Chef James is not immune to Chef Ramsay's barbs. Mash, please, James. My hand. Again, it's always in your hand. I want it on a plate. I got it right now, chef. Right behind you. I'll put it down. I'll do it. You're busy, yeah? Okay. If I say play, I'll say play. Oh. Chef is just riding my ass right now. I don't know what the f I did wrong. Service, please. Yeah, let's go. Come on, please. Chef's hurt my feelings a little bit. Let's go. It's nice. Got it. Going on chicken right now. As the dream team closes in on the finish line, over in the blue kitchen. Go up with that chicken. Chicken hurt. Let's go. Coming over hot. The Black Jackets Quick. are in an all-out sprint. Behind, behind, behind. Service, please. Two Wellington, one his and hers, yes? Yes, sir. And Roe on the meat station is looking to impress with her steak special. Guys, we got Omaha steak in the dining room, yes? Heard, heard, heard. That, one, that one's a little longer. Well, maybe with the rest, they might be all right. The meat station's my station, so I'll take responsibility. One steak special. Can we help you build this? Yeah. I think, it, I think it's under. Yeah, it's way under. Bro, the steak's under. The steak is raw. Did you slice it? No. You have to slice it. You can't just say it's under and then not It feels under, though. Enough. I know meat. I know not to myself and overcook and it's perfect mid-rare. It's a little under. It's not mid-rare. <sighs> Whatever. Two Wellington one steak special. Heard. Guys, what's going on? Walking steak special right now. What's going Heard. on? Jennifer, I'm asking you a question. What's going on? Waiting right now, chef. It's too raw. That's what I said. She didn't. Chef, but no. I told her already. Right. Yeah, if you told her, she's not listening. I told her it's raw. If she is trying to sabotage me and make it look like I'm the bad guy, it's going to be the worst mistake of her life. This is rare. It needs to be medium rare. Yes, Chef. John, come back for his and hers, please. Bro. Yes, this Chef. This is your dish. Yes, Chef. I expect you to nail this. Yes, Chef. I'm hungry. I'm What's hungry. up with this? Yours well, looks great. Maybe you can share. I'd be happy to share with you. Maybe you should share now. Okay, will you share <laughs> yours with me when you get it? No. Straight after that, we got three chicken, one Wellington. Yes? Yes, Chef. I need that steak, Brian. Walk right in. now. Where is it? Come on, Brian. Hustle, 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 hustle. Is Brian on meets as well now? Where's the wingman? Right here, Chef. What's he doing? What is he doing? I don't know, Chef. Ah. Oh. What are you doing, young man? Putting the chicken. What is Santos doing? Santos is supposed to be the wingman. And right now, I think his wing is broken because he's not helping anyone. Is the steak special to follow that? Steaks. Oh, here it comes. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, look at that. Oh, Where's the chicken? Here, I got it. I got it. Please, please. I gotta, I gotta, don't worry about it. Please. Please. Chickens, I want to take over this pan right now, and I'm not being able to. So, talk to Santa. Santa, move. Let her grow. Take it. Face take the it. chicken. I already look like an a enough getting yelled at for not helping. Facing like my grandma. And then now I'm getting yelled at for helping a person on the station. It's not even my station. Don't do this to me. Where is the chicken? Waiting on chickens. Yes? Five seconds. I'm not sending him raw chicken. No, chicken. I need that Five right seconds. now. Five seconds. I'm there. I'm there. Well, where is it? Anybody? Bro, let's go. You're holding my whole pass up. Cook it, bro. Come on. It's just over two hours into a dinner service where the black jackets are being tested by Chef Ramsay. Come on, guys, please. Chef Andy and Chef James. Let's go, service, please. While Chef Ramsay's team has sent out their entrees rapid fire. Bro! Rose delay in delivering chicken. Well, where is it? Has brought the blue kitchen to a halt. All of you come here. We spoke about coordination. We spoke about teamwork. He's running around like a blue ass fly. Now, me, I don't know who's helping, who's organizing, but it's a show. There's too many of us in the kitchen. Useless people getting in my way just hurts the team. Is there any way we can finish one, two, three, four, five tables yes. together? Yes, 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 chef. yes, chef. Right now. Two houses, two chicken, right now. Stay fast. Are you ready? I'm ready with garnish. I'm basting halibuts. Give me less than a minute. Two halibuts. Do you have two chicken? I'm about to walk these chickens, and I'm good. Come on. 
I don't want to get too hell of it. I cannot Let's send them. Yes, yes, you can. Yes, that I can defense. sell too hell of it. Right, I'll take anything. Yes. Anything. Here we're going, yes? Waiting on chickens. Walking two chickens, one right behind you, Jen. All right. By the time you plate these, I'll have another one up for you, OK? OK. Let's go. Go. I'm walking down Garnish. Go, please. Pick up. Hot pan, chef. Let's go, please. We're going to apologize, please, yes? Thank you. Thank you so much for your patience. Thank you, and apologize. OK, uh, the service can be best described as uneven. We finished five tables ahead of you. And there was just three of us. Six of you were not communicating, were not listening. It was bedlam. Here's the thing. There was one, one strong individual. And it was Bryant. Wow. Thank you, Chef. Bryant, I want you to think about tonight and then add all that you've seen in Hell's Kitchen to it and give me two names for elimination. Wow. OK, Chef. Get out of there. Yes, Chef. Consult with everybody. Yes, Chef. This could be one of the first big decisions that I make for my new boss, and I am very happy about that. OK, let's do this. We can just go around so you can get the done. All right, let's go. I know I had scallops come back, two lobster that was cold or under, but I had two ready to refire right behind it. It didn't waste any time to get the tickets out. OK, if that's what you think, that's fine. That's your opinion. I just don't like seeing Bryant have this much power. I don't want my slow performance on fish tonight to make him think that I'm not a strong chef. And the Caesars kept coming back. I had one comeback, Pepper. But at the same time, me station went down tonight. You guys are yelling me, how long am me? I'm not, I'm not the person on the meat station. Hello, I'm the wingman. Talk to the person on the meat station. Santa, every time I talked to you, when I walked away to check the meats or walked away to get Wellingtons, I told you what was in the pan, what the next pan was for. OK, bro, don't push it off on anyone. You did it. You know it. Own it. I really can't afford to be up in front of Chef Ramsay again. Tonight should have been a team effort on meat. It's just Santos, dude. It's just Santos. As a wingman, you're supposed to be told what the to do. Say I'm not delegating to you. I asked you to do the simplest of <laughs> things. I mean, you were the wingman, but what were you doing? It looked like she was working, and you were just standing around. Are you kidding me? What the <laughs> is going on? At the end of the day, the weakest link is definitely Rose. It's just a <laughs> show, and that's what happens. When. I think you hurt more than you helped, Santos. <laughs> Don't you know what a steak feels like when it's done? I have the power to end someone's dreams. It's time to say goodbye to someone tonight. At this point, you should know what the f needs to get done, period. Although the Black Jackets had some strong moments in service, they still fell far short of Chef Ramsay's team. He asked tonight's best chef, Bryant, to nominate two chefs for elimination. Tonight was your night, but your performance was dreadful. Bryant. Chef. First nominee and why? First nominee is... Bro. Bro. Tonight, she needed to take ownership of her station. Second nominee and why? Chef, the second nominee is... Santos. Because he wasn't very much of a wingman I saw, and over the course of the competition, he hasn't really made an impact. Fair point. Row, Santos, step forward. I have three words for you both. You two again. Santos, third time in a row, standing up here. Row, your fifth time up here. Has that billboard gone to your head? Not at all, Chef. Why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I kept my composure tonight when things got difficult. I can lead our team to better services, and I'm here to prove to you that the chef that produced that dish this morning is the chef I am. Can you delegate? Yes, Chef, I can. Where, when, and to who? Chef, I feel that if any other black jacket chef was uh, assisting me on meat today, it would have been a whole different service. What does that mean? Things 
that I was asking Santos to assist on were not getting done. Is that true, Santos? No, Chef. Come on, you two. Santos, why do you think you should stay in Hell's Kitchen? I should stay in Hell's Kitchen because I am one of the strongest chefs here. Half of the appetizers went out. I was talking between Fish Station and Hot Apps. Talking? What about cooking? That's all I wanted to see you do was cook. OK. My decision is... Bro, say goodnight to Santos. Goodnight, Santos. Santos, give me a jacket. Bouncing around the kitchen, looking busy, but not actually accomplishing anything is the reason why you're leaving Hell's Kitchen. You are not ready to be my next head chef in Atlantic City. Good chef. Good night. It's been a pleasure. I feel Chef Ramsay made a horrible decision. I give everything I have every day and to go out the way I did. I'm pissed off right now. But being in Hell's Kitchen, I've learned so much. I got a black jacket, so very proud of myself. Every challenge and every dinner service is critical. There aren't many of those left, so it's important that you bring your A game to all of them. Wake up, all of you. Chef. Yes, Chef. Yes, Chef. Get out of here. Holy crap. Five times the man has decided to keep me. If Chef Ramsay hasn't sent me home by this point, that means that he seasoned me a winner. So all these people need to go. No more Miss Nice Guy. How many times does this bitch row have to go up on the topping black and still make it out? I feel like I gotta go through some drastic measures to get this bitch the out of here. Santos dodged the bullets in the last two nominations, but tonight there was nowhere to hide. 